Hello, thank you for watching another episode of The Fat Big and Chef. Today I'm going to show you a really quick tip. Something that you probably already know, but just in case, I'm going to show you how to do it. What I'm going to do is toast and grind some spices off for you. A lot of times you'll see recipes, especially Indian and Middle Eastern recipes, where they call for cumin or coriander to be ground. And a lot of times they say to be toasted first. And I think that whether it is implied or not, most of the time they want you to toast the spices first. And what the toasting does is it releases the oils out of those dried spices, especially when you're dealing with seeds like the cumin and the coriander that I have here. These seeds have been dried and the oil is encapsulated into the seeds themselves. So by toasting it, that heats up the oil that releases it out of the cells and then allows for a much more flavorful or fragrant dish. Plus when you toast them, it does add that toasting flavor as well. So most seed like spices, like coriander, like cumin, and, and even like black pepper, they usually want you to toast them first. So basically what you wanna do is just take your raw, unground seeds, put them in a pan about medium, medium high heat, like so and what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly shake the pan over the heat and that will go ahead and help release some of that oil we want to do this for about a minute and you'll see that the color of the cumin and the coriander does change a little bit and that's what you're kind of going for you're looking for the smell, you'll start to smell the spices, and you're looking for the color. You don't want to burn these, but you do want to get them toasted. So now that we have these toasted, what we'll do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here temporarily. So now that we have them in here, what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the spice grinder. I have my spice grinder here, and this is just really a coffee grinder. I use this just for spices, I don't, grind my coffee in here at all and I would suggest buying a separate one of these don't use your coffee grinder either unless you like to have your coffee flavored like your the spices that you've to toasted you can use a mortar and pestle but it just takes a long time you've already spent all that money on a mortar and pestle when you could have spent seven to fourteen dollars on a spice grinder and basically just put your spices in there lock it up and grind it until it's a fine powder. And I like to shake it as it's spinning, and that way that helps circulate the spices. Okay, we have our spices ground. What I usually do is I let this is I like to let it sit for just a little while to allow the dust to settle a little bit. As you can see, it does a pretty good job in grinding the spices. So I hope you find this tip useful. You can find this tip, recipes, techniques, and a whole lot more at thefatbeingchef.com. If you like this tip, please share it with your friends and family on your favorite social media site. And if you liked it, please consider donating a dollar or two at tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much and have a great day.